the ball ones that I've, I've seen that have come out of China uh, have been excellent. So that's, that's good news. Right out of uh, piano school, uh, I went to Jackson, Mississippi and associated with uh, a Yamaha Baldwin dealer of Mississippi music in Jackson, Mississippi. And I was there uh, for about nine years uh, until I had an opportunity to interview with, for a position at the factory in Baldwin in Truman, Arkansas. And I was subsequently hired initially as uh, uh, to work in the quality department. And then later on, uh, I was the supervisor of the repair of the pianos that returned to the factory for uh, warranty repair. And so all in all, I was self-employed almost 10 years and worked at Baldwin for about uh, 13. In the, uh, the tech service department, when I was supervisor of that department, I had, I had several people working for me. I don't remember exactly the number, five or six people that did different functions because we, we had to do things from either replacing back assemblies in upright pianos to uh, you know, restringing grand pianos and um, there were quite a variety of skills that were involved in, in the tech service. It was just kind of like a little small repair shop, I suppose. I met some very, very uh, sharp individuals that worked at Bowen in the time that I was there. Even though during that time, uh, it was probably <laughs> during the tail end of uh, Baldwin's American experience. There was such a large movement to China uh, in the 90s, I guess, and probably led to the, a lot to the downfall of the, the uh, in industry in, in the United States, but there were just a tremendous number of uh, Chinese pianists coming to market, and they were still learning. I've seen Chinese pianos that initially that I liked, and then for some reason when I got to, got into tuning them, I heard sounds that I didn't like, and it kind of interfered with the overall uh, overall sound. I haven't seen too many uh, uh, new Bowens, but I, the, what's I, what I've seen here, the the six thousand that I played on the other day, it was just I mean you, I could tell from the very moment that I put my hands on the piano from the very first chord that was a quality instrument. Just from the feel of the, the touch and the quality of the sound that came, uh, I knew it was a, a quality instrument. Yeah. And I really liked the sound and I was impressed. I was surprised that, well actually I was a little surprised that it was a piano that came out of China. Actually the one that I, that, that I played seemed to be better than my memory of the 6000s. I don't see a lot of 6000s in the work that I do because they were rather uh, a select type of instrument, not a lot of people have those in their homes, uh, but it was wonderful, it was a nice instrument that, that I played. But I've always liked the, I always liked the, the ball, and I think the, uh, the Artist Series Grands, uh, generally they're, they're very well made pianos. I always thought that, that for ball and you got, you had good value. You, you got a good piano for the, for the money you paid. I was thinking about this the other day, of the number of employees here at Atlantic Music Center, I know four at least that play the piano and two at least that play professionally. Plus you have an owner that is a highly accomplished musician so he knows what a good piano sounds and feels like and he demands that from the people that work for him and also from the instruments that he, that he sells. You've got people that, that know the piano from the artist standpoint, they know it from the technical standpoint, and that's a good combination. And then when you have a, a policy that, that guarantees customer satisfaction, how can you go wrong? <laughs>